The TikTok paradox. Biden's presence raises questions amid security concerns. In a recent interview with ABC News, Vice President Kamala Harris attempted to navigate the intricate web of concerns surrounding TikTok, the popular social media platform owned by Chinese company ByteDance. Harris's remarks shed light on the Biden administration's stance on TikTok, a platform that has found itself at the center of a geopolitical tug of war due to its ownership ties to China. However, while Harris sought to address national security worries, the elephant in the room remains why is President Joe Biden's campaign actively engaging with TikTok despite these concerns? Harris's assertion that the administration does not intend to ban TikTok may come as a relief to its millions of users. Still, her emphasis on addressing the platform's ownership issues raises more questions than it answers. If there are genuine security concerns associated with TikTok, why is the Biden campaign actively encouraging Americans to follow their TikTok account? Is the move merely a strategic attempt to appeal to younger voters, or is there a more insidious motive at play? The Biden campaign's decision to join TikTok, ostensibly to reach a broader audience, including younger demographics, raises eyebrows given the administration's expressed concerns about the platform's security implications. By actively participating in a platform that has drawn scrutiny from national security experts and lawmakers alike, the Biden campaign appears to be sending mixed signals about its priorities. Furthermore, the administration's support for legislation aimed at forcing ByteDance to divest its ownership of TikTok underscores the severity of the security concerns surrounding the platform. If TikTok's ownership is deemed a national security risk, one would expect the Biden administration to distance itself from the platform entirely rather than actively engaging with it for political purposes. TikTok's defense of its security measures, including the hosting of US user data on American servers, may offer some reassurance to its users. Moreover, Harris's vague response to questions about continuing to campaign through TikTok in light of national security concerns raises doubts about the administration's commitment to safeguarding sensitive information. While Harris acknowledged the importance of addressing TikTok's ownership issues, her evasion of the question suggests a lack of clarity regarding the administration's stance on the matter. The Biden administration's embrace of TikTok raises broader concerns about the intersection of politics, technology and national security. In an age where social media platforms wield significant influence over public discourse, the Biden campaign's presence on TikTok begs the question, is this move more about controlling the narrative than genuinely engaging with voters? While TikTok may offer a platform for political messaging and outreach, the risks associated with its ownership cannot be overlooked. As the Biden administration grapples with how to navigate the complexities of the digital age, it must prioritize the protection of national security interests above political expediency. The TikTok paradox serves as a stark reminder that in the digital age, the lines between politics and security are more blurred than ever before.